Hey, what's up everybody? Steve with the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel here. And today, we're gonna pimp out Kira's kayak a little bit. Now, before I get started, we're talking about the eye. It's an occupational hazard. You're just gonna have to look at it. Feel free to drop your comments down below and make fun of me. I really don't care. So, all right, you're gonna have to ignore my messy garage. This is Kira's kayak. This is a Pelican Solo six foot. This is a great kayak. It's, she's had it for a year now and put many miles on it and it's held up wonderfully. This kayak has treated her very well, but she has made some requests. Um, she wants to get more into fishing, so she wants a rod holder. She wants to be able to carry it a little easier. So we got some handles. I'm adding a paddle holder. She didn't really ask for that. But her number one request was a seat. Now, some of these don't come with a seat whatsoever. Some of them, like this one, came with a very crappy seat that we ditched like pretty much right off the get-go. So, what we have here is a $14 stadium seat from Walmart. It's made by Ozark Trail. Now, let's talk about seat modifications for a quick, quick second here. When you have a kayak that does not have a seat or has a low seat, that it was not originally designed for elevated seating, there are some major concerns. The first one, the one we're really gonna talk about, is stability. So, again, there's a lot of, there's a lot of do-it-yourself stuff going on, so forgive the mess. The Outback is currently a workbench. The Outback has raised stadium-style seating with lumbar support and things like that, because we're fancy. When you sit high up on my kayak, well, there's no issue. This thing is a stability beast. On cheap kayaks, as you raise your seating position, you change your center of gravity and you make them tippy. This particular kayak has some very impressive stability. This thing has, this, has stability like my Outback does. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Kira stands on it walks around on it and she's never flipped it at any point that she wasn't flipping it intentionally so i'm not too concerned about the seat so we're gonna put stadium seating in this thing we're gonna put a rod holder in some carry handles a paddle clip and we're gonna toss in a gopro mount or two for her cameras all right guys so here is the rough placement for the stadium seat I want to kind of keep where her butt sits in the same spot that it was before because that's where the kayak is designed to have it just up a little bit i also needed a spot that was going to give me placement to actually secure the seat to the kayak now i debated a bunch of different ways to do this what i ultimately decided on was these brackets and go over the pipe secure into the kayak now there are a few spots, like here, for example, where it's not quite going to line up with the body of the kayak. The simple solution we're going to use to that is we're going to bend the tabs in those different spots to match to the kayak. Now, you could just run. We're going to use self-tapping screws. You could just run the screws in and call it a day and for the most part it's probably going to be watertight but i'm going to do something a little different i'm going to put clear silicone on the back side of these brackets when they go in it's a little extra adhesion but but mostly it's about keeping the water out so we're going to put a couple on each side and i think we'll be good i thought about running brackets and all but I, I really honestly i just want to keep it simple it's a really simple kayak it doesn't need anything fancy and this is a pretty lightweight seat and i think these are going to get it done just fine so let's get started <music>
right, y'all. So we pimped the kayak. Let's take a tour of it and see what we came up with. First up, we put a rod holder on. This was just a uh, basic one that I picked up from Walmart. And I mean, it's, it's not a rod holder I would put on my kayak. Let's be honest. Um, they're cheap. They're clunky. But for a ten, nine, almost 10 year old who wants to fish on her little kid kayak, perfectly acceptable. Um, I will put a, I am going to put a, uh, rod leash anchor and everything on there. Cause quite frankly, I don't trust it. Or I may just throw a section of pool noodle on her rod. We'll see how it goes. Next up, I put the clip on paddle holder on. I may add a retention bungee. I really like these, this style of holder. Um, but it's, it's kind of flimsy on her kayak. Now these kayaks do have the built-in paddle holder where you just kind of set it across there, but it's not the greatest. She, she likes to, she has a paddle leash and she likes to just throw the paddle off the side of the boat and let it float. So I'm not overly worried about that. Um, but I might add a bungee. We'll see how it works a couple times out. I added a grab handle on the side there to make it easier for her to carry. Um, easier for me to carry, which it's usually me that ends up doing it. So I may end up taking it off plastic welding, those holes shut and then putting two handles side by side instead of just one. So I just left one on there for now and we'll see how it does. The pride and joy, the main feature, the main event where it all started, the seat. It's a really nice seat. I made a quick little tether there in case she flips it, rips it off, whatever. So not the most perfect mounting system, but I think it's going to work just fine. I got three of these brackets on here. Quite honestly, I don't think I actually needed the clamps in the middle. So this thing ain't going anywhere and I can pick up the kayak by it. I'm really, really not worried whatsoever about how the seat's mounted. And, uh, Kira's not really the type to just kind of like throw herself back in the seat. Anyway, she's pretty careful with her kayak. So I'm not too worried about it. Well, we hoped you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more great videos from the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that little bell so you get notified when new content is available. Please leave us a comment down below and let us know what you thought. And don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.